Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. The global quest for carbon neutral energy sources has placed green hydrogen at the center of discussions. Green hydrogen, produced through water electrolysis powered by renewable energy, promises a versatile, sustainable, and zero emission energy carrier suitable for various sectors. However, its adoption in countries without a well established regulatory framework presents a significant challenge. This video explores the perspective journey of a global environment facility, GEF, backed green hydrogen project, transitioning from early adoption in a regulatory vacuum to a full market transformation by 2030. Phase 1, Early Adoption and Setting the Foundation, 2023 to 2025. The journey towards a green hydrogen economy in a country with no existing regulatory framework begins with GEF strategic involvement. The primary goal in this initial phase is to establish a solid foundation for green hydrogen development, and this involves several steps. Firstly, comprehensive feasibility studies are necessary to understand the country's renewable energy potential, infrastructure capabilities, local contexts, and the specific needs that green hydrogen could address. It will also be crucial to consider technical aspects such as the availability of water resources for electrolysis, grid stability for integrating renewable power, and the potential to repurpose existing gas pipelines for hydrogen transport. Simultaneously, GEF would need to work closely with government bodies to devise supportive green hydrogen policies and a conducive regulatory framework. These might include safety standards for hydrogen production, storage, and transport, incentives for green hydrogen projects, and penalties for high carbon emitting practices. Creating public awareness about the benefits and potential of green hydrogen also forms a crucial part of this phase. Information campaigns that target policymakers, industry leaders, potential investors, and the general public could be instrumental in building a supportive environment for green hydrogen. Phase 2, Infrastructure Development, Capacity Building, and Technical Challenges, 2025 to 2027. Following the establishment of a favorable policy environment and public acceptance, the focus should shift to the technical challenges involved in developing infrastructure and enhancing local capacities. Setting up green hydrogen production facilities involves advanced electrolysis plants powered by renewable energy sources. However, electrolyzers efficiency and durability, intermittent nature of renewables, and water quality and supply are substantial challenges. GEF's expertise and international collaborations could aid in overcoming these hurdles, encouraging the implementation of cutting-edge, efficient technologies. Developing a distribution network is another key aspect. The infrastructure for storing and transporting hydrogen is technically complex due to hydrogen's low energy density and high flammability. Therefore, safe and efficient solutions for hydrogen storage and distribution, like high-pressure tanks, liquid hydrogen storage, or even solid-state hydrogen storage technologies, are essential. Capacity building is an integral part of this phase. Initiating educational programs on green hydrogen technologies and training existing energy sector workers can create a skilled workforce to sustain the sector's growth. Phase 3, Private Sector Involvement and Scaling Up, 2027 to 2030. With the foundational and technical aspects addressed, the entry of private players into the green hydrogen market is pivotal. GEF can play a crucial role in this context by providing risk guarantees and co-financing options to attract private investments. This phase can witness a surge in green hydrogen applications. From fuel cells in transportation to serving as an industrial feedstock and enabling long-term energy storage, the utilization of green hydrogen can diversify. Phase 4, Market Transformation and International Integration, 2030 and beyond. By 2030, the goal is to have a thriving green hydrogen market that contributes significantly to the country's energy mix. However, realizing this vision involves addressing several remaining technical issues. The integration of green hydrogen into various sectors, while crucial, is technically challenging. For instance, using hydrogen as a fuel source in vehicles necessitates the development of efficient fuel cells and a network of hydrogen refueling stations. Moreover, retrofitting industrial processes to use hydrogen, especially in high temperature applications, requires significant technological advances. Moreover, an international market for green hydrogen can emerge, encouraging trade between countries with high renewable energy potential, and thus green hydrogen production potential, and those with high energy demand. The path to 2030, as outlined in this vision, will undeniably be marked with challenges. However, with the combined efforts of GEF, government bodies, the private sector, and the public, a transition to a green hydrogen economy is feasible. This transition could significantly contribute to global efforts to achieve the Paris Agreement goals and a sustainable future.
Thank you for choosing RenewEnergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the latest developments and innovations in the field, including hydrogen fuel cells and the use of AI and machine learning to optimize energy consumption. If you're ready to take the next step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, visit us at RenewEnergy.com and discover the many ways we can help you transition to renewable energy. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay up to date on all the latest news and insights by subscribing today.